Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here. And today we're gonna to talk about what do you do? What do you say when someone in your life says one thing and does something completely different? Now you might apply this to a friend. You might apply this to a child living in your home. Definitely we can apply this to buyers and sellers, especially those buyers and sellers that tell us, oh yeah, I'll call a lender, let you know what they said. Or maybe we scheduled an appointment and then they didn't show up. Essentially this pattern will work for anyone who says one thing and then does something different. There are three steps. Number one, you're gonna remind them of their motivation. Now in the real estate world, that might sound something like, I remember you said that you wanted to down size so you could buy an RV and travel. That was really important to you. That would be number one. Number two would be describe the scene behavior. What I mean by that is don't put any intention, don't assume anything about it, just what is the observed behavior. So number two could sound something like, and I've noticed we have not connected for our appointment time. You're not saying you know showed me. You're not saying you chose not to show up. Maybe they were sick. You're simply saying the observed behavior. We did not connect for our appointment today. And then the third step is to simply say, make sure you smile when you do it. Hey, talk to me about what's going on there. So again, the three steps, remind them of their motivation, tell them the observed behavior, and then ask them to tell you what's going on. Let me give you an example. Say that someone did not show up for an appointment. So I could say, hey, Veronica, I know that you mentioned to me that buying a bigger home was really important to you. You're, you're very excited to grow your family and you need that bigger home to do that. I also noticed I haven't heard back from you on and what the lender had to say. Talk to me about what's going on there. What I found is they either do one of two things. First option is they get real serious about it and they tell me, I'm so sorry, I've been really busy, I'll get better about it. It could be a little bit of a confession slash let me get this in order. That's usually option number one and that is usually what they do. Option number two that I have found is they'll level up with me and they'll say something like, hey, you know, after I hung up with you, I talked with my spouse and they're just not interested. And so I'm having some inner turmoil about what to do here. Either way, this is a win because I've either found out what's wrong that we need to fix or they get their behavior in line with what they've said they wanted to do. If you're wondering how to do this with your teenagers, you could also say, hey, I know you said you wanted to go to Sally's house tonight and I'm noticing your homework's not done. Talk to me about what's going on there. Just a little pro tip. All right, guys. Well, there's way more patterns than this in the class Mastering Inside Sales, which starts on November 2nd. So hopefully I'll see you there along with Maya, the mascot. You've seen her walking around. And uh, I hope to see you on November 2nd. Have a great day.